Eye World Wagwan. Not sure I'll be here today once more. And a solo adventure once more. Um, I'm in St. Mary, Jamaica. Then do about a mile of swimming down the sea. Yeah man. So this morning is overcast. With the forecast predicted that um, we're gonna get some rain. Yesterday the sea was a freak surge was out there man tad high water dirty but this time of the year the water is really unpredictable because a winter most of the time we get bad we get um bad visibility water rough water yeah man and water cold as well colder than normal this time of the year so I go jump in and um head down you see so I can go on you know as I'm saying my rules and laws when solo spear fishing don't push yourself to the limit you know don't push yourself to the limit I always keep it I always keep it cool I always keep the heart rate down as much as possible and if there's any bad feeling I just head to shore you see me so that I might tip to keep me when me a spear fish me now me now all day you see me yeah man so I'm gonna jump in now and share this footage with you guys the other day the last um the last video that I put out the camera angle was off so I make sure I get it right this morning. Yeah man right now rain out half fall. So I'm gonna put the camera back in the hose in and hit me the water. So see you guys in the water, okay? Yeah man. It's all natural, you know, where I live, there's a lot of them, I'm in a kind of rural area, so this was my first deep drop, it was a couple of barrels out there, I don't know if you can see them, make them out in the, in the video, yeah man, but there were a couple of them, I couldn't reach them, they were a bit deep, and this was my first drop, and um, every dive I know that the first dive is always uh, the, the, the least, because you have to warm up along before, you know. So this was the first day I didn't make a shot. While going down the sea now, um, saw this bar swim beneath me. I swim it down and I take a shot and I got it. This is where I dive bomb Spanish mackerel. Yeah, try to get in the range. However, when I was about to take the shot, this beautiful turtle obstruct the shot and I gave up. I'm 
met her yesterday. You met her yesterday. You got her. Eh? Yeah, we am go so and then come so. Yeah, but a couple of them up there, man. Yeah. As I enter the water, I saw about four to five barracuda. I dive down on a specific one. It saw me coming, start to swim away. Yeah, man. So while coming up back, um, two came in, but they didn't come into shooting range, as I can see. Um, so I went up back. I noticed that they were lingering around. Yeah man, so I went up back to get some breath and to dive, to dive down on them and see if I could get one. Two of the barracuda was still beneath me so I went down. I went down to try it and get one with them. I went in shooting range. Uh, one of them saw me coming and head to the deep and I took a shot I, and I missed. I noticed that the spear went beneath the fish. Yeah, I don't know why I missed that. It was a hard shot, should I say. Yeah, and I went up back to try to, to, to regulate my breathing to go back down to get the, next, the other one. But um, it escaped this time and swim away. So, that's what happened on that day. I caught up back with Sambo, that a spear fisherman, and um, we saw three barracuda. So, we make a strategy to, for me to dive on the outside, he dive on the inside. The reason for me to dive on the outside is to pen them in so they don't go to the deep. However, the source come in. The one that I single out that I was going to take as a swim away. The second option, the motor fringe as well. The third one now that I was leaving for Samba. It started to swim away. I was closer to it. I was closer to it. So I take a shot. It was a bit of a long shot, but I took I, I take those shots all the time and successful in the end. However, I was just wasn't aiming right in this dive. And I barely just grind it. Yep. And if I did get that barracuda, I would get some for it because I already have one. The man and you know, sharing, sharing is caring, you know what I mean? So that would be an easy thing to do. So I put all those mess behind me and continue my adventure, and I got the Spanish material. Alright peeps, so I'm reaching oh, I'm about to go GoPro about to finish on me, so we're at the fishing village now and um can show the catch the catch them in the man. I catch this off camera. I came around there when I shoot you. This is a shad, a Spanish mackerel. I don't know the barra. Yeah, man. So I go weigh them now and then clean them up. I don't know the procedure. Yeah, shad. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, so I go weigh them now and let them know how much they weigh. And then clean them up. Yeah, man. Well, we are um, seven, seven pounds. 
So seven point eleven, some seven point eleven ounce. So I just saw, so I just seven pound. I go wear the sponge mat, you know. What you feel like? I have found that one. Probably a less too. Half pound. Over half pound. Nearly quarter, three quarter pound. Half pound. Thing over there, so I go on. I go on just on clean up their peeps. Yeah, man. So now I go, we um clean them up now. Yeah, man. And get back to you guys. In. So, how are you pump for the clean clean? Yeah, you are some. Wow. Easy. Yeah, peeps. That they are right and whistle same time, you know. <laughs> yeah, daddy. Yeah, well. All right, peeps. So we don't clean up on you see them in the fridge. Now yeah, deep freeze as I can see. Only fish, you know. So see them here. Feel me, the man, see me. Yeah, man. Yeah, peeps. So you want fish, and you can link, and you can link me, and we can pass any information to General Rick. Yeah, man. You might. You might. party. Well, yeah, man. So, I just tell you, peeps. Please still active on things. So, don't know. So, I go and have them chill to me ready to move out. You cut my confidence. You know? So, catch you for the next one. Stay safe, do good. Yeah, man. Your guide.